Story 1, Discovering Mom's Infidelity I regret not making my marriage work, and now my ex-husband is happily remarried. When I was in my early 30s, I divorced my husband. We didn't have any major issues, our relationship was just challenged. After having kids, I was a stay-at-home mom, and I expected him to do more of the housework and child care when he worked full-time. He did help me when I asked, but I started to ask more of him and I burned him out. I used to have him wrapped around my finger, and I used it as an advantage to get what I want. He eventually got tired of it. I started threatening to divorce him, and he said he knew the baby was just stressing us out and he would like to make it work. But when I was 30, I thought I was a great catch because I'm still very beautiful for my age, and I lost my mom, so I thought I could do better than him, so I left him. I got our house in the divorce, and we shared joint custody of our son. Fast forward, now I'm 41 and still single, and my ex-husband is 41 and got remarried to a 31-year-old woman who is incredibly beautiful. They had their daughter three years ago. He bought a new house, and my son loves going to his dad's to spend time with his other family. And I'm not gonna lie, it makes me jealous. She has it all. She took my husband. She took my kid. She took my life that was once all mine. And all I have is the house we created our family in. And now I live in an empty house. I'm 41. I gained 20 pounds, I've got wrinkles, and I'm alone and miserable. I've had short-term relationships after the divorce, but they never work out. Men just don't want an old woman like me with a child, and I've noticed that men with kids just have a better time dating with kids than we do, and I hate it. I'm not happy anymore. I wish I could go back when I was younger, and I would have stopped being so childish. Now I have such a miserable life. I work a useless job now and I have to share custody of my son where he has to go spend time in my ex-husband's house with his new and improved wife. I feel like a dumpster standing right next to her. My therapist said I should do something that'll make me happy, like a makeover, since I'm reminiscing about how I looked so much and comparing myself to his new beautiful young wife. So I decided to get a new hairstyle, and that didn't help. No matter what I do, I look like a middle-aged woman. This is probably the most honest I've ever been in a while. I just feel like crap. I wish I was a better wife over 10 years ago, so I wouldn't be in this position. I know a lot of people on Reddit preach being alone and single, but honestly this is not an ideal life or a life I would wish on my worst enemy. Story 2. Wife Threatening Divorce Regularly Update. My 28-year-old male wife, 32 female, keeps throwing divorce in my face over everything. I just agreed and left. Original post. I am currently staying with my sister. My wife and I have been together for five years, married for four. We had known each other for years prior, and we have one kid together who is four. I am the primary breadwinner in the house as she is a stay-at-home mom, and it was her choice not to go back to work. For the last year and a half, we have been having arguments about one to two times a month. To be clear, I do help out with our daughter, I clean, cook, and am involved with both of them. The first time she said she wanted a divorce, was when we got into an argument when my sister called and asked if she could stay with us for a bit as she was having relationship problems, which is ironic. I said she could, and my wife was not happy about that. I pointed out that her friend stayed with us a couple of months prior for five weeks and didn't do anything around the house. Plus, she was just there, no discussion, no nothing. She was a stranger to me and my daughter. My sister is lovely and has a great relationship with our daughter, and I found my wife was as well. She ended up staying with us for a week, helping out around the house, cooking, cleaning, and watching our daughter when needed. I thought we both forgave each other and moved on. The fights are usually over something small. Many percent are not started by me. I have suggested therapy and counseling, but she always said she or we never needed it. Well, I had it last night. She picked a fight, saying I was spending too much time at work, and that she feels abandoned, and that I'm not a good father. Then ended her rant with I want a divorce. I stood up and told her that the only reason I work so much is that she can't stop spending our money that I earned on things we don't need or use. She refused to get a job or go to school to help her out. I provide for the family for my daughter. I'm always at her important dates, functions, doctor's appointments, anything she needs. While she refused to get help through therapy or counseling, I don't want this anymore. I'll have my lawyer send her the papers. When she writes it up, I got my daughter's things and left with her to my sister's. It has been two days and she keeps calling and texting, saying she is sorry. She didn't mean it. She wants to go to counseling and therapy. She needs me, she misses me, etc. I don't know what to do. I love her. She is a good mother, but I can't do this anymore. Internet strangers, please help. Yes, I have a lawyer for my family and work. I have known her since I was a teen. 
This is still only a step of your life. You still know your wife and life better than we do. Make the best decision for your daughter. That's all you can do. Toxic parents are the freaking worst, especially when they can't get over their BS for their kid's sake. You got this, King. Always put your daughter first. This is a very solid point. I don't think OP has done anything wrong, but honestly, his wife's behavior is of someone who is lacking external stimulation. If she had a job or a proper routine outside of the house, maybe she wouldn't be picking fights over everything and anything. My partner got injured last year for three months. The fact that he couldn't go on runs and swimming sessions with his friends made him so unbearable. The same for me when I took the work-from-home option to the extreme and became a bit annoying too. Thankfully, none of us called for divorce, nor offended each other. I gently told my partner that it was clear that he needed his time with his friends, and he gently told me that I needed to go to the office more to change my routine. Staying in the comfort zone can be dangerous if we are never challenged. I had the exact same situation after the 500th time of her saying we should get a divorce. I finally agreed. Of course, her version of the story later was that I left her, but even that wasn't worth arguing over. My best advice is that even after divorce, you will need to work things out with her on things regarding your daughter, so don't do anything mean or spiteful during the process. Wait a while to see other people after you move out, or she will assume you were cheating on her with any new person. You can't make other people happy. She needs to be responsible for her own happiness. Don't be angry, just say, I love you, and I want you to be happy. But it's clear I can't do that. So you're right that we're better off getting a divorce, and then don't waver on that decision. If you don't mind, I might end up saying something similar to that. People that say things are fine and refuse counseling while blaming all the problems on the other spouse, then promise wild changes to stop the divorce, aren't to be trusted. They're perfectly content being taken care of and having no responsibility for their own happiness. They make promises to keep you from changing and then go back to what is comfortable and easy for them. Right now, your stay-at-home wife's whole world is appended. She is losing a comfortable home, will need to share custody of the child she had 100% of the time, and she's going to have to support herself. I'm not a lawyer, but where I live, alimony payments aren't for life. They're often just half the duration of the marriage. The courts will see she is young and capable of having a career still. Child support payment or until the child is 18 and a percentage of your income and how much custody you have. So she knows she messed up. My advice is that you go through with the divorce, even if you love her, and consider going back after you've seen her change. She gets a job and she gets therapy. Update. Hello all. Unfortunately, this is not a sunshine and rainbows update. I posted a few months back about how my wife kept throwing divorce in my face on a regular basis. That was until I said okay, got my daughter and left. To clarify some questions I have gotten, I'll refer to one of my comments on my original post. I want to point out some things that it seems were missed or looked over. I would do everything again if I had to, including taking my daughter. I have pushed my wife to go out, find a job, get a hobby, meet new friends, and do something, anything. I asked about seeing someone for help. She would not listen or consider anything I have presented. She kept saying no, or she was not the problem. My daughter is my priority. I don't fight with my wife in front of her or around her. I grew up in a bad household, and I have been in the position where my dad got angry at my mom. My mom left, and my dad took it out on me. I don't ever want that for her. I don't know what my wife was going to do that night. You can't force someone to get help. They have to want it. Actually want it. If you force someone, they will go through the motions just to make it look like they changed. I'm not blameless in this, but I can't raise my daughter with her thinking, this is okay behavior or this is how relationships are supposed to be like. I decided when I was young that I would never be like my dad. Okay, so after I made my post, I had a bunch to think about. I decided that I had to make sure she knew how serious I was. We sat down, and I flat out told her that I couldn't do this anymore. The fighting and threatening of divorce has to stop. She agreed and said she would not say it. I told her that the next time it was thrown out, it would be the last time. We agreed to go to couples therapy, and it was eye-opening. Things were said, feelings were brought up, and outside professional views helped us understand the other better. After a few sessions, I thought we were doing better. She started to apply herself more. She looked and obtained a job, made some friends, and got a hobby. That was until an argument started because we had plans in regards to our daughter that she overlooked and couldn't cancel the other plans she had made with some new co-workers. And when I considered the end of the argument, she said under her breath, I knew marrying you was a mistake. I looked at her, 
and the thing I remember most is how I did not recognize the woman that was standing there. She looked different to my eyes. I didn't know who the woman was in front of me was. I asked her to repeat herself, she said, I should have divorced you years ago. I walked away and took my daughter to the plants alone, just as two. I ended up filing for legal separation under the terms we both signed. Something along the lines of, while separated, we are still legally married and will not get involved with anyone during this time period. Finances will be separated, but bills will stay as currently split. I would still pay for insurance through work. Other things that were in it were therapy sessions would continue, both as individuals and couples. I would move in with my sister, and we had shared custody of our daughter, 70% me, 30% her. One day, when I had my daughter, I needed my wife to take her. I let her know a week before, and she agreed. The morning of, at 7.30, I went to drop her off at the house and noticed an unfamiliar car in the driveway. My first thought was she must have a friend or girlfriend over. I go ring the doorbell, out of respect but still odd ringing your own doorbell, and wave with my daughter. When a shirtless man about twenty opens the door and asks who am I and what do I want, I ask for my wife he calls her, and she comes around the corner in a robe, and her face goes from curious to shocked to horrified to sad. Needless to say, in three months' time, when the legal separation ends, I'm filing for a decree of dissolution of marriage. My daughter is safe, she doesn't understand what's going on, other than daddy and mommy are not happy with each other. As stated above, she is my priority. I guess I had to do the one thing I never wanted to do, the one thing I promised myself I would never become, but I guess it could be helped. I end up just like my parents. I don't know what a healthy relationship looks like. I hope I can just show how much love I have for my daughter and raise her the best I can. Thanks for the support, comments, love, and criticism. That's freaking hard. One day your daughter will know what her dad did to protect her. I hope you find peace in your life, OP. I hope she will thank you. From what you wrote, I don't think you are like your dad. You didn't do the same thing your parents did. You prioritized your daughter and took her from a household that was no longer healthy for her. I'd say that it's not the matter of knowing how a relationship should look like, but the fact we cannot always foresee how the person we love will change over time. We also never get to know someone as thoroughly as we think, only the bits they show us. I think you made the best choice in this situation. I feel like I never knew her. I only knew the side of her that she showed me. I just hope I'm doing right by my daughter. Thanks. Your story and the part about your daughter are remarkable. Your soon-to-be ex is a troubled person. A healthy relationship is one where the people decide to be happy within mutually agreed-upon boundaries. It doesn't mean no stress. It just means you have set up fences so that you and the wife can work together instead of against each other. It seems your wife has decided to work against you. She never wanted to be married to you. Deep down, she wanted to manipulate you and used love in the relationship to do it. And it is so important that you got your daughter out. Now the really sad part. You're going to be in for a fight in the courts. Hopefully, your wife is too in of her boy toy and trying to throw him in your face to get a reaction of either pain or anger than to try and use your daughter against you. Document everything. I know you are here looking for support, but be careful. They are going to be looking for evidence to discredit you. Get alimony, get custody, child support, etc. Find out what 125% of what the state says you should pay and start budgeting now. I have a habit of not deleting things, so I do have documentation throughout the process. I have already consulted my lawyer, and this is going to be a big fight. I believe most of the divorce agreements will be similar to the separation order, but only include house selling, division of assets, and money payments. 